Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my brow routine for you. I've had requests to do this. I've made a couple little tweaks here and there to it. Very similar though to my Urban Decay brow blade review and tutorial that I did, which I will link in this video. And you guys wanted to see a little update on what I do, products I use. So first of all, you're gonna need some gel. I recommend this one to slick your eyebrow hairs down. They will not budge. This is like glue for your eyebrows. It is a hair gel glue, but you can use this on your brows. I found this trick on TikTok and it seriously works. It's the best. And to use this product, I like to use a spoolie and I also get one that has a little angled brush on the end so that I can clean up under my brow with concealer or any kind of base product. So those are the two things that I recommend first. And then I go in with still my Urban Decay brow blade. You're gonna wanna use this because I use both the pencil and the blade side to create a micro bladed feather brow type of look. Clean up my eyebrows. I like using Q-tips that are pointed like this from Sally's with a little bit of this waterproof micellar water from Garnier. And then to complete the whole look, I use a product to just clean everything up underneath. You can use a concealer, your base product, whatever you like to use. I just like to clean up a little bit at the end. And this is by Makeup by Mario. It is the Master Eye Prep and Set in Medium. So I use both the two prepping products and then the powder to set. Super easy. The two things I highly, highly recommend for this technique are these two products. You can get this in a smaller size, but this was like five bucks on Amazon and this lasts me forever. The Urban Decay Brow Blade, I rarely have to replace it. Maybe replace it once a year, it lasts me forever, especially the blade side that like never dries out. So this is how I do my brows. It's also a really good technique if you just want to groom your brows as well, which I'll go over in the tutorial because it really places your hairs and you can see where you need to pluck. Now that you have your products ready, you can do this with products you have at home, same technique. I just recommend these products more than anything. If you have something similar, grab it, follow along, because this will change how you do your brows so easy and you'll get it perfect every single time. Super, super easy. So if you wanna see how I get my brows, then just keep watching. I have you guys zoomed in as close as I can go with this camera. And these are how my eyebrows look with nothing done to them. So we're going to start off by using that got to be glued spiking glue. Either of these brushes that I have here are fine to use. I have an e.l.f. and an Anastasia. Both are virtually the same, it's just whatever you have. So I'm going to take a little bit of the spiking glue, put it on the spoolie end of my brush. When working with this product, you wanna do one brow at a time because this stuff dries down. Your brows are locked. So trust me, work one at a time and then you're gonna to want to be careful not to get too much on your skin. I personally go in after and clean it up because then your foundation's not gonna lay properly. And even if you don't like this style of brow, this is actually a really nice way to groom your brows is by sticking all your hairs up. So I just comb it through my brow, make sure it's evenly distributed. And then I go with my finger and just slick it down. So it's pressed to my skin. You can see just doing that made a big difference in how thick and full my eyebrows look. Before it fully dries down, I'm just going to take my Garnier Micellar Water. This is the waterproof version. You gotta shake this up, because it's one of those bi-phase formulas. And then the Q-tips I use, I got at Sally's, and they have a pointed tip, as you can see. So just stick it in the hole, tip it over, and then I just clean up above and below my brow so none of that glue dries on my skin and makes it look crusty when my makeup goes on top. The other end of the Q-tip that has no product on it, just kind of bring it over where I put that micellar water to clean up any excess so that it doesn't create a layer of makeup remover so that your makeup can't go down. Just make sure that area is nice and clean. I still have some excess product 
on my brush. So I'm going to use that for the other eyebrow and just follow the same steps. By doing this step, you can really see the shape of your brow. So I find this very helpful, especially for grooming my brows. And I have a brand new Urban Decay brow blade to use for this tutorial. I just ran out of my other one. I use the shade Dark Drapes. It's my favorite brow product of all time. And what's nice about this, you could use it for faux freckles. I know people have picked up different shades and you can use the pen side. Makes perfect faux freckles, perfect for brows. This is the closest thing to a microbladed look on your brows that it gets. I've tried almost everything out there and this is by far my favorite. So I always start with the pencil side and this is a waterproof product. Your brows are not going anywhere <laughs> with this. And even that spiking glue, is water resistant. So your brows at the end of the day, like they are hard to remove. It's the hardest part of my makeup to remove, but I like that because I know they're not gonna go anywhere. I just like to create the shape underneath my brow first. This brow is more droopy than this one. So I just like to bring the line a little bit lower on this side just to match this brow. So I have brow hairs that grow all the way down here. I purposely didn't pluck so that you can see and I'll show you the placement of my pencil. So I bring it not straight across, but definitely not following the brow shape. If I were to put my brow pencil down following the shape of my brow hairs and how they grow, that's going to close off my eye. And if I bring it up like this, this provides a lift to the eye area. So I don't know if you can tell just by doing this. I do like to not bring it straight up or out like I've seen some people do. I just like to bring it slightly above how it curves naturally. That means I'm going to have some stray hairs down here, but I just wanted them to be there for the purpose of the video, even though it's gonna look a little bit messy. I just like to do the under brow first just to make them as even as I can. And this brow has way more hair than the other one. Now taking the pen side, I'm going to start at the base where that line is and lightly flick up. You want a steady hand for this, as steady as you can get. I kind of rest it on my mirror or my other hand. So the first line I like to create where my inner corner of my eye is, go straight up from there. And then I just gradually create hair-like strokes throughout the shape of the brow. So as you can see in this part right here, I'm not bringing the brow blade all the way up because I already have hair there. So you don't wanna put the product where you already have hair, also that's going to not give you the illusion of a microblade look and that feather look. Only place it where you need it. Making smaller and smaller strokes near the end of the brow. That is the bulk of the work done. It's honestly so easy because you're only filling in where you need to and you're not even touching the top portion of your brow. You're keeping it looking feathery. These are quite large for me. And if I ever wanted to tone them down when I'm doing the hair process, I just take my spoolie and run it over the top so that they're not as sticking straight up. I just wanted to show you for the purpose of this tutorial, just how to do this kind of look, that microbladed look, what's the easiest way, but you can tone it down just by dragging your spoolie across the top portion of your brow before you completely set it. And I'm going to take this Makeup by Mario Master Prep and Set in medium, and I mix these two shades with this side of the brush we're using, and it also comes with a powder, which I find very convenient. So I use this for an everyday product. If you need more coverage, like I honestly would for today's video, but I wanted to show you how I do this for every day then I would use a concealer because a concealer has a little bit more coverage than this, but this is great product for every day. So I only clean up the bottom portion of my eyebrow. And then I also use this as a base. This does make a difference on how clean and crisp your brows look. For a feather brow or a micro bladed looking brow, it defeats the purpose to do it on top though because you want it to remain feathery. So that's why I just do it on the bottom. And then I use this Zoeva 146 brush for all over the lid. I just totally prep my eyes 
while I'm doing my brows. Then taking any sort of fluffy brush, you're going to want to use that in the powder to set. And if your eyebrows are looking shiny, you can also put a little bit of powder on top to tone down that kind of fake plastic lookingness that can sometimes happen. I mean, it just makes it look a little bit more natural when it's more matte. And I kind of take a step back and just look where it might need some extra help just using that pencil side. So that is my brow tutorial. I hope you guys found it easy to follow. I swear by these products, honestly, it changed the game for me. I have always struggled with brows and this is the easiest routine for me to create the brows that I like to wear. And as I said, if this isn't your style, still a great way to groom your brow. So I highly recommend it even just for that. And I really hope this helps you out in the future for your own brows and maybe found some products that you want to incorporate into your own routine. But as I said in the intro of this video, these are the only two products that I need to do this. This will lock it down, water resistant, waterproof, best micro blade feather brows you will ever have. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know to continue doing these kind of tutorials in the future. And if you have not subscribed already, I would love for you to stay. Just hit that red button below the bell if you wanna be notified of all my future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one.